Hey everyone, did you know that Algorin is one of several more recent projects that aim to increase the range of potential applications for cryptocurrencies by speeding up transaction processing and shortening the time it takes for a transaction to be considered final on a network. Algorin has grown consistently throughout its existence. This token created to make blockchain more environmentally friendly and advanced through strategic collaborations saw a 10% spike in May 2022 in 24 hours. So, considering its sudden surge in popularity, I from Simply Learn have brought you a new video on Algorin that will give you all the knowledge needed to understand the whole mechanism behind Algorin. So, without any further ado, let's get started with the video. But before that, do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to never miss an update from Simply Learn. So, let's have a look at what we are going to learn in this video. First, we will learn what is Algorin, followed by what is Algo. Then we will look into its foundation and protocol. Then we will understand what is Algorin staking mechanism and how does Algorin work. And at the end, we will see how to buy Algorin. So, before we understand the in-depth mechanism of Algorin, let's first understand what Algorin is. The blockchain network and project Algorin was established in 2017 by MIT computer scientist Professor Silvio Michele. In June 2019, Algo, the network's native cryptocurrency and the mainnet network, both became live. The blockchain facilitates smart contracts and, as was already mentioned, focuses on increased scalability. With support for customizable layer 1 blockchains, the Algorin network is a public, decentralized, pure proof-of-stake blockchain. Now, these can be used to build blockchains that are customized for particular purposes. According to the initiative, financial services, decentralized finance, fintech, and institutions can all benefit greatly from its technology. Well, this reminds me, do you know which nation is the first nation to accept digital currency? To figure out which nation is taking a step toward future technology, hang on till the end of this video. Till then, you can all comment down your answers below. Now, let's get back to the video. So, now that we have come to its crypto algo, let's understand that also in detail. The native currency of Algorin Algo has a total supply cap of 10 billion coins, which will be issued by 2030. Each newly forged block is accompanied by a new algo that is sent to particular algo holding wallets. So you must have at least one algo in a non-custodial wallet. To obtain these algo incentives, approximately every 10 minutes, this reward, which offers algo holders an APY of between 5 and 8%, is given out. Now, due to this process, you can passively stake the algo coin, making it one of the easiest cryptocurrencies to earn a passive income. Now that we know what is Algorin, let's have a look at how its foundation was built and what projects it deals with. The Algorin network is funded and expanded by the Algorin Foundation, a non-profit corporation that was established in 2019. Additionally, it contributes significantly to blockchain governance, research, and community. For instance, the foundation has provided developers with education through university programs and has assisted Algorin projects within its ecosystem with accelerator programs. However, the private corporation Algorin Incorporated is in charge of technical development. Additionally, the Algorin Foundation holds a sizable amount of algo which it utilizes to finance its operations. Now this raises the question of what protocol Algorin primarily follows. So let's have a peek at them. The Algorin network asserts to address three main problems referred to as the blockchain trilemma. Security, scalability, and decentralization. These are the three main issues the Algorin protocol intends to address. So let's discuss them one by one. First is security. Now the Algorin protocol is resistant to malicious assaults, which makes it perfect for transactions. 
keeping valuable assets and developing secure business applications. It keeps security at both the network and consensus protocol levels and safeguards user accounts individually. Second is decentralization. Now, Algorand lacks a single point of control or centralized authority. Participating nodes in the network verify transactions and all nodes have an equal voice in decision making. Algorand is an extremely decentralized system as a result. So because the selection is both random and private, anybody on the network has a chance to be a member of the committee of users that approves each block. So there is a new set committee and volunteers from all over the world administer it nodes. Third is scalability. Now the Algorand protocol is more scalable than Bitcoin or Ethereum because it can process several transactions per second. Now the consensus protocol developed by Algorand eliminates the requirement for the computational power that Bitcoin or Ethereum uses to address cryptographic issues. Well, this brings us to the staking mechanism of Algorand. Algorand employs a special proof of stake variant known as pure proof of stake. One algo token is all that is necessary to participate in pure proof of stake and to help secure the network. On the contrary, Ethereum 2.0 has a 32 Ether minimum stake requirement, creating a substantially higher entrance barrier for consumers. On the other hand, a low minimum staking requirement can compromise network security since users may not act ethically if they have little money at stake in the network. So now that we know that Ethereum and Algorand are closely working with proof of stake, there's a huge rivalry competition between them. So let's see how they both actually differ from each other. Now, blockchain technologies like Algorand and Ethereum can be seen as rivals. Both platforms employ smart contracts and provide the infrastructure necessary for creating more blockchain-based projects. So Algorand and Ethereum differ from one another primarily in the blockchain's consensus mechanism. Ethereum employs the proof-of-work algorithm, which needs a lot of energy and processing power to mine new currencies and complete transactions. Ethereum is increasingly switching to the proof-of-stake algorithm, the most popular kind that needs blockchain network users to choose them as validators. On the other hand, Algorand is already using pure proof-of-stake. Now, on average, a new block of transactions can be processed on the Ethereum platform every 12 to 14 seconds, whereas Algorand network transactions are completed more quickly, in less than 4 seconds also. So now that we have covered all the basics of Algorand, let's dive deeper and have a look at how it actually works with proof of stake. Now, Algorand has provided a two-layer smart contract design since 2020 that differs significantly from past methods. And this is how it goes. Now, layer one is on-chain for smart contracts that carry out basic, usually transactions directly on the blockchain. Now, Algorand layer one deals with atomic transfers or when several parties consent to swap cash. Whereas, layer two is off-chain and is for specific two required smart contracts. This covers two large, two complex, or two computationally demanding smart contracts. The gist is that less complex smart contracts, which will take longer to process, operate outside the blockchain and run on a different platform. Now, Algorand can operate more efficiently than single layer blockchain thanks to this architecture. Algorand uses a pure proof of stake mechanism to validate transactions. Now, anyone can stake their tokens and take part in the validation process. If they have at least one algo in their possession, the Algorand protocol chooses participants to validate blocks of transaction. The possibility of selection for each online user depends on the number of algo tokens. Users receive participation benefits for confirming their transactions. So here are the three steps that Algorand undergoes while working with. First is proposal stage. Now users become participation nodes once they have staked and generated their participation key. Algorand relay nodes serve as the channel for communication between these nodes. Now the block proposal phase then uses a verifiable random function to choose several block proposals while taking into account 
the percentage of each validator's stake. The identity of the chosen block proposer is hidden until the new block is offered because harmful actors cannot target the selected validator. Network security also increases. However, proposer can exhibit their VRF output with the proposed block to demonstrate their legitimacy. Then comes the second stage, the soft vote stage. Participation nodes are chosen randomly to join the soft vote committee after a block has been submitted, so that only one candidate can add to the blockchain. This stage screens ideas. Voting power on the soft committee is proportionate to each node's stake and votes are utilized to choose the proposed block with the lowest VRF hash. Now, because the lowest VRF hash is an unpredictable value, it will be hard to attack the block's proposal in advance. And then comes the last stage, certify vote stage. The integrity of the transaction in the block from the soft vote stage will be examined by a new committee established to look for double spending. Now, the block is added if the committee accepts the work. If not, a new block is chosen. The current block is rejected and the blockchain goes into recovery mode. It is an aspect of pure proof of stake consensus mechanism since the leader who suggests a faulty block is not subject to a slashing penalty. Algorithm folks are relatively uncommon because only one block proposal may be certified at a given time. All transactions are then deemed as final after the block has been added. So now that we have covered all the technical concepts and functionalities of Algorithm, let me tell you where you can actually buy Algorithm. Basically, you have a wide range of choices available when it comes to purchasing cryptocurrencies. Thankfully, Coinbase, Binance, eToro, Kraken and Crypto.com works wherever Algorand is available, so you may purchase Algorand. It is speedy, simple and secure. Well, this brings us to the end of this video. But before ending this video, let's have a look at the question I asked you before in this video. Will the first nation you to accept digital currency is the Marshall Islands? The Republic of the Marshall Islands is a country that embraces emerging technologies to create an open financial system that uses blockchain technology. The SOV, a digital currency, will coexist with the US dollar in circulation and support the Marshall Islands' productive participation in the world economy. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new from it. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting videos like this. And if you have any questions regarding this video, our team will reach out to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.